presidential sale, the Washington Commanders. Say what? That's right. Several reports this weekend saying the Commanders owner Dan Snyder is close to selling the team. NBC Sports reporting that sale could come as soon as March. Okay. Okay. So the next okay. Two okay. Months here, many names have been tossed around for potential owners, of course, including Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. But now it appears the D.C. region native Josh Harris may be the front runner. And you may be asking, who is Josh Harris? Well, he already owns the Philadelphia 76ers and the New Jersey Devils. Okay. So let's get to the experts, the ones that know more about all of this. And we've got <laughs> Axios reporter Dan Primack with us and Fox 29 reporter Tom Shredenshek with us as well. Dan, let's start with you because you've been keeping an eye on Josh Harris. What do we know about him and how has he come out to be the front runner for this big potential sale? So Josh uh, is a private equity guy. He is co-founder of a big Wall Street firm called Apollo Global Management, which he left about a couple of years ago. There was a power struggle at the top. He didn't win the power struggle. He left. But as you said in the open, he owns the 76ers. He owns the New Jersey Devils uh, with his partner, a guy named David Blitzer, also a private equity guy. Uh, Josh has a small piece in the uh, Cleveland Guardians, the baseball club. As for the front runner, um, let's see. Uh, he wanted to buy the Denver Broncos, wasn't able to, kind of pulled out of that process. As of right now, he seems to be one of the people who put in a bid, but just because Bezos didn't put in a bid at the beginning doesn't mean he couldn't jump back in with, with a bid that would just kind of overwhelm. Harris has money, but he doesn't have Bezos money. Oh, well, that's, a, that's a great point, Dan. Uh, and Tom, you're out in Philadelphia. <laughs> what do Philly fans think of Josh Harris and his handling of the 76ers? What, they like Josh Harris, guys, because Josh Harris is an owner that's not afraid to spend. He puts money into his franchises, the Devils, as you mentioned, the 76ers. Don't forget as well, he owns part of a club with the Premier League mm -hmm. in the soccer Crystal world Palace. as well. He's not Correct. He's not afraid to spend, but what makes him attractive to a group is once he owns, he doesn't meddle. He really lets the 76ers be run by Daryl Morey. He lets Tom Fitzgerald run the Devils. He's not a hands-on owner. He likes to make money, don't get me wrong. Yeah. And he's made a lot of it in his life. But, but, he's not a meddlesome owner. And every one of his franchises that he has touched has improved dramatically. Wow, that would be very okay. welcome news for Washington yes. fans, Dan. Uh, hands-on. Hands, very different from what we've seen from Dan yes. Snyder since he's been here. Uh, Dan, you talked a little bit about Jeff Bezos potentially getting back in. It seemed like maybe he wanted to be a minor. Minority owner that didn't really bode well from reports, and maybe his bid was not as high as Dan Snyder wanted to see. Uh, reports of a $6.3 billion. It seems like that number wasn't enough to cut it. Uh, do we have any insight on that? Do you have any insight? What are reports that you're hearing? No insight on it per se, except to say that th these processes, remember, th these are, yeah, sometimes there's banks involved, obviously the league and the owners, and there are phases, right? We want first round bids by a certain date, and then second round bids right. by a date. But there's no reason, and we've seen this in every sports league, the NFL is no different, where someone can't just jump in with a price. And even if, again, go back and look at that Denver Broncos sale, because that is the current record holder right now. It's it's likely the commanders will top that. In that process, there, there were these formal dates, but kind of the Walton family, the Walter Penner family, which won it, they were kind of in there before the thing was even for sale, kind of privately, and then they just jumped in and swamped the field, which Bezos could still do again. The idea of Bezos being a minority owner to me makes absolutely no sense. He yeah. either wants to own the team or he doesn't. As for Harris, just to go back quickly to what um, the other Tom. guy said about <laughs> not being a metal some owner, it's because he has another full-time job. He has his own private equity firm, so he would not be like Snyder. He would have something he would be doing full-time, and he would put someone in charge of the club. Okay. Uh, and and Tom, don't forget, no. guys, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, don't ahead. forget, guys, he's not afraid to put money in. He built a state-of-the-art facility for the 76ers. He's in a struggle right now because he is only a tenant at the Wells Fargo Center. He wants to build his own arena here in Philadelphia. And don't be surprised if he doesn't take over the commanders that he finally gets the team out of Landover and back into the district. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't say that. Don't you say that here. Those are don't you say I just that we go there. People have strong feelings about that yes, on both sides. Some people want them uh, out we, of FedEx they're Field. They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> They're staying. He's they're not staying. afraid to spend. He's There's, not afraid yeah. to spend, well, guys. He would be a stadium. great NFL owner. Okay, Dope. that's good to hear. That's Thank you, to Tom, know. and so much as well for uh, Dan over at Axios. He got the insight on who Josh Harris is. He's from here, and we don't know too much about him. You know, these people with but, a lot of cash, they lay low. They lay low, but I like the fact that he's like, listen, I own the team, but I'm not here to run the team. I do private equity money. Y'all yeah. make sure that these people win, and I'll spend money on stadiums and things of that nature. That sounds dope. Okay, well, let's see what happens.